Thank you. Three, two, one. Really more. weird unit setup, in my opinion. Like a lot heavier on the on the D5 units on this map than Action Aiders. But also, like I don't really uh, see the reason for their split right now. I can check that on the map, right? Now, like the split looks a bit weird to me. Actually, uh, yeah. Yeah, the, the offense doesn't seem to want to commit, do they? Like, they're waiting for their for their B side team to come in as well. But I think they're pressing the trigger now, and we get to see people flanking with the shield maidens from uh, the wall. There, Star Wars as well, and then there's actually like a big push coming in. And this kind of militia needs to get proactive now. Like, it needs to be proactive. Oh, uh, now it's behind the enemy. I don't know if that's. And now it's getting shot by the police that are there. Oh man, what a poor use of the Cali militia. This is super sad. Like this unit could have done like so so much here. And now we just see like a full commitment here by both teams. Uh defense getting kinda caught off guard here against those flamies. Can't really hold Trap not ground. really hitting anything. Really, really nice but uh calf charge here. That actually uh doesn't really get through though doesn't really get in there was this i mean the advance was too late but there was a uh, enough uh, damage actually on the point i think they they like that's the issue like they didn't use their 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 zikalian when they were all standing in the gate like they could have had so much damage on the units already they waited too long with that i mean the only way they shouldn't have used them is like pulling them into the pavis yeah, I think so too. Open fire, and if they wouldn't have done that, or like just do anything else, even if they would have used them against like the the guys that came off the wall uh, to win the flank before they win the or like start fighting over the over the A cap here, would have been much better. A clean a push though by Vibroid because defense did really big mistakes. Let's see. Over to A, right? And that's what I would expect, right? That's what we've seen in the in the big games. Uh, happening but uh maybe they have a different re um defenders actually kept the supply here that's a uh, really nice uh just to like apply a minimal pressure even if it just uh gets one guy over they're actually pushing c now from the right side here decent standard play i hope we we're gonna see some traps too we see some a lot of some... impact advances here i think the offense should be out of impact advances at this point the sheets are really really late and uh, they, these shields really need to block the, the stairs here in front. Oh, two people just getting caught off guard completely. And I think this guy is uh, having his trouble, like, uh, managing his Star Wars, though, but... Section 8 Star Wars, the last guy is on the point. Gonna get cleared up as well. Um, C is safe. We're gonna see another trebuchet here. And, and the um, is just bleeding too many units, I feel like. like yeah, yeah just... they're losing too many units for sure. Actually, like hitting their own units the with the trebuchet a little bit, but it should be fine. Impacts are fairly tanky. And, and now the defenders have to run, but they should have like retreated some time ago and they're going to get picked up like big time here. Big time. Yeah, good pickups by the calf. Like half the javelins are going to dive to this. And now the tra tra the staircase getting trapped, even more units gonna die. Yeah, I I, I think like they just didn't take the the, the better unit trade right so far. Like it's not over yet. It's definitely not over yet. They still got a shot here. But it's gonna be really difficult to hold this without. And it's like gonna be super fight. tough. Like being two hundred plus units down on. Uh... I think for an endpoint already. Right. Actually, what is doing the difference? The trap is doing the difference here. Yeah. Holy moly, like this is almost unwinnable from the spot. Like unit difference just went from 200 to like 270. Uh the camera issue, not really hitting stuff. Next trap. In the back line here. Uh it's gonna it's gonna hit, right? Yeah, it's it's, it's gonna hit stuff. Actually, move the numpkins away, but ah, oh, those horses, those horses shouldn't engage a fight, man. Like they should have waited out the impact advances against infantry, and now it's just gonna be. Oh, nice Uzar Church here. Yeah. That Actually, getting nice stopped by the flamies, so. Those flamies are dead now, aren't they? Like I don't see them anymore. I look like Uzar is gonna smelt everything with like 
Flame is just made at the Hussars there, like in place. Not gonna matter though. Offense just having like big, big unit advantage on the point. Also have more space to work with. Uh, they're gonna flank the defenders. Yeah. Um, the units left only for the defense. Yeah, just gonna block off the points. Yeah, I think like on the A point, they just, uh, like they could have done so much more damage with their units. They just engaged too late. Like, definitely. Like, using muskets is nice, but you need those. Like, if you have the Zikarian, you need to use it as soon as you get the first shots off and then resupply it once before the push starts, right? Or maybe the push will never start because you already did so much damage. And now it's just, uh, yeah, it's just cleanup party. Everything stacked with blue units. GG's. Um, decisive game here. Five minutes remaining on the clock for White Blood. Uh, they knew what they were doing. Just uh, straight up pushed them away. And we saw a lot of mistakes on our defender side here. Let's see. Yeah, like there's basically nobody B there. Full A. See if they can get something done here. Everybody's gonna be focused on their push, right? So yes. So uh, be real careful with that. But Viplet is also not like uh, using the flanks right now. Like they're not using the high ground up here. And uh, first traps yeah, being thrown. Uh, nice as a carry militia a throw here. Actually hitting like so many units. Really good one. Yeah, actually like those flamies there. Like they don't. They will not do anything until you pull them into the enemy. So right now those flamies were just doing nothing. Now they're doing something. Yeah, actually, uh, I don't, I don't know why the pike, uh, Imperial pikes are just advance into the like the shields from the front and into the flame is there. Nice trebuchet, or nice trap. Actually, also hit half a flamey unit, like and a full hit into the shield wall. Yeah, it looks like uh, Viper just a straight up winning these fights, uh, by executing the fight much, much cleaner. Like yeah, the shields are always in front. You get some like uh, decent Imperial pike advances there. You get some decent flamey the, plays, the a Kerem militia play. Wizards. Um, not getting advanced actually, but getting yeah. hit by the trebuchet a bit. Too many of the Hussars died, but they might even get out maybe. If they run fast, now they get stopped completely. Yeah, people actually need to retreat and get new units. Uh, they're gonna have a, a, new, a new attempt here. Um, actually, the, even... the, the respawn is super fast, so they... It's not really a lot there yet. There's one Zekalian. Four flamey units left, and now all the shields coming over again. But the push is already going, like the shields gonna arrive definitely. Look at late. this, a okay, man. In front of the point. Coconuts for everyone! Might actually be able to get this point. Yeah, and the, the army guys. did quite a lot because there was no pikes on the front line itself, like it wiped a few shields for sure. I'm not sure if that's a good idea to put a musket in the point. All right. I mean, uh, my player is fully behind. committing here. The monastic uh, charge actually getting through, not hitting much though. Yeah, um, but it's hit like three heroes, so that that's a lot of damage on heroes with monastics. Shields and coming that's... in on the top there. Still got all the flamies alive. Like looking at this uh, from the viper's perspective here. They're just in the driver's seat the whole time. Trap's gonna pick up some units, but. Yeah, it's really bad to hit a trebuchet here because of the tent, right? Like, the tent eats most of the shots. Yes. Yeah, and they're just uh, pushing Section 8 out here. They're gonna try one more time, I guess. Um, they've been really fast in the pushes, so they don't have any time issues, but they're super low on, on units now. We're basically yeah, in a situation where we were last game. Right. No matter what you do. Right now, there's probably still flamies there. So, actually, those flamies are a bit in the back line. Then there's even crossbows in the back. So, and yeah, the flamies are there. It's not a lot left, but it's enough to kill any frontline units that try to charge in. Yeah, the flame is just in position here. Landsknecht charging in. Shields completely untouched. Like. Your bike advance into the shields here, and I probably just gonna hold this. Yeah, the flamies took too much damage on the units. Really, really good attempt here, though. Like, just uh, trying until the end to get this A point, and it was super close to get A, but it's yeah, not yeah, gonna but be today. Marker, That's what Viper is gonna say. 
Barker is the flamey guy and he had 170 unit pickups with his flamies. Like that's just too much value for this unit. Like this unit carried the defense, definitely. That that was the big issue right there. Like they pushed in, they tried to do it, make it work, but they never got around to taking out those flamies. You need to set up somehow, you need to set up a flank to pressure those flamies from two sides or you lose. Like what they do right now, for example, like they now have people in this, uh, on the side of A, right? But it's just like a green unit, so it's not going to do a lot. Just imagine there being like some, like three, four, T4 units that push in from the side while the others push in from the front and those flamies suddenly just get taken care of instantly because they can't shoot in two directions at the same time. All right. Yeah, I don't see them. Yeah, clean, clean victory here. Yep. Uh, by my blood, so my blood are going forward into the next uh, loser bracket match, and Section A is gonna say goodbye. Yeah, just a solid defense, definitely. Having the units in the right position and like resupply came in time, even though the push came fast. And also like. Uh, towards like one team looking better is always like two thing two teams committing to that. So you always have uh, you also have white blood player playing really really good defense here. So yeah, it, it makes uh, section eight actually look uh, kind of bad, but.